Back at it on a Wednesday, Brett Ciancia. Pick six previews coming up here uh, in just a little bit. So uh, your Clemson Tiger soccer team has been one of the best soccer teams in all of the land uh, in recent years. And uh, that doesn't look like that's going to be changing anytime soon, not only for the men, but also uh, for the women. So I'll update you on that coming up here in just a little bit. Let's see if we got some comments here coming in again. Uh, if you've never tuned into the program before, we're going to try to push YouTube a little bit more. Subscribe to our channel uh, over there. Trying to do some neat stuff uh, with that. But we were talking about injuries. We were talking about injuries. And let's see. Linda's had Achilles tendonitis a few years ago. Thank goodness it didn't tear, she said. It hurt bad enough. She said, I can't even imagine uh, a tear. Got a text message that came in earlier uh, from our good buddy John listening to the show in Archdale, North Carolina. You can always, I can always tell when John's texting because he's one of the only people with the 336 area code hitting us up. Uh, he says, uh, ACLs are not fun. I tore mine in Clemson in 1987, his last semester. He also said, don't forget that Darion Kendrick played. Uh, quarterback some as a freshman at Clemson. Also played a little wide receiver, too, uh, if my memory serves me correctly, which means he would have a, a little bit of insight in, even more insight maybe into the offense to a degree. That's a good That's a good point, John. I, I'd actually forgotten that he uh, played a little bit uh, there at Clemson uh, at QB. Boy, what was – what was? I'm trying to think. What was the circumstance of him having to get in? Was that bad with – what year is this? 2021. Was that with Kelly Bryant? Was that Kelly Bryant season? I can't remember uh, what year that what would have been. If somebody remembers right offhand, let us know. Give us a message. I remember him playing some. I could see him, for whatever reason, taking snaps down near the hill end zone in Death Valley. I just, I'd have to look back to see what it was against. I, I don't know. Did he ever, did he ever throw a pass? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that he did. Um, I don't know that he did. Uh, Eric says Georgia's tight end. Washington will be an issue for him. We always struggle with good tight ends. Uh, who do we have that can match up with him? Uh, I believe the Washington kid um, is like 6'8". Is that right? Um, let me look up. I remember him from recruiting. I can't remember his, I can't remember his name. Right? Darnell Washington. And he's a big old boy. I'm going to tell you what. I mean, he is a big old boy. I remember thinking, man, I wish Clemson go get that kid. 6'7", 265 out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Yeah, he and Eric Gilbert are both going to be hands, hand handfuls for Clemson, I, I, I think. That's a good point, Eric, man. I appreciate you dropping that dime on us. The tight end situation there in Georgia is strong. There is no doubt about that. Eight zero three four five zero 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 eighty six eight zero three four five zero 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 eighty six. There we go. Nasaj Nasaj says that it was in twenty eighteen when Kelly Bryant went into the transfer portal. So uh, that would have been when uh, he believes that uh, Kelly Bryant, excuse me, Darion Kendrick took some snaps at quarterback. So Kelly Bryant went the transfer portal. That left you. Trevor Lawrence, Chase Bryce, and then I guess given the fact that Zarek Cooper and Hunter Johnson, well, you go <laughs> you go through all those names now, you're like, wow, um, we're gone. And I guess DK took some snaps at quarterback in one of those games. Uh, one attempt, zero completions, according to Corey. I, I like this, man. Look at the Facebook guys coming through. What's up, Facebook? I'm trying to push it, man. I'm trying to push it a little bit over there on Facebook. I hadn't done it. I, I got away from it, and now I've seen some benefits. So as a wide receiver, Corey says he had 15 receptions, 210 yards, no touchdowns. <laughs> also, Hunter Renfro was a backup quarterback. And for that matter, uh, speaking of backup quarterbacks, let's not forget 
Will Spires, who I joked about earlier in his 18th season at Clemson, took snaps in that Georgia Tech game <laughs> when Clemson was beating the Yellow Jackets by, what, 60, 65, 66 points, whatever the score was at the time he came into the game. So, yeah, we've seen we've seen that. We've seen that. Uh, Clemson diving way deep into the depth chart for the backup quarterback position. 803-450, and I want to give JCT credit for that because he brought up Hunter Renfro being a backup quarterback as well. 803-450-0086, text line, phone line. Always good hanging out with you guys. and I love the banter we've got going on here. So many things to look at from this standpoint of this Georgia Clemson game. And again, this whole conversation today stems back to not just that we're a month away, mind you. Think about that. How great is that? But again, the conversation on ESPN Football Live yesterday with David Pollock and uh, Joey Galloway both agreeing that uh, they thought, and I, I think it was, I think Pollock agreed that Clemson was going to lose to the Georgia Bulldogs in the season opener. And again, anything can happen. This is a matchup of a couple of top five teams. I don't think anybody's denying that fact. It's a neutral site game. There's inexperience for Clemson at quarterback. Uh, there's incredible inexperience at quarterback for a lot of the teams around the country uh, this year, whether you're talking about uh, quarterback at Ohio State, whether you're talking about Bryce Young. I think it's C.J. Stroud, I think, is the quarterback who they think is going to start at Ohio State. Bryce Young at, at Alabama, limited starts for DJ, limited starts for JT uh, at Georgia. Spencer Rattler, uh, maybe one of the more experienced guys out there, and even he's still fairly inexperienced. So quarterback experience uh, in 2021 and who grows up the fastest could have a lot to say about who are the final four teams standing. Uh, at the end of the college football campaign as they head towards the college football playoff. 